Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG. So now that we've crossed this land bridge here thing, I don't know what it's actually called. Uh, let's continue on. Let's talk to this rat here. Or this mouse, I don't know. Ah, I haven't seen... I haven't been here in a while. I've been busy traveling around. Where are you heading? Is it, uh, Monstro Town? By any chance? Uh, yes. Okay, listen up. Look for the whirl. Uh, where the ant pops up and proceed after it. Keep following it and you'll find your way underground. Once there, Monstro Town's just around the corner. I'll see you there. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and save, since this is an opportunity to do so. And let's, uh, look around here. We have these whirlpools here, which we can fall down. Which just take us to a different area, in this area. Uh, because this is con connected to here, so we can actually just go to these rooms. But also, uh, if we don't, just go through the set whirlpools, just whatever we want to do. Also, there's nothing back here, I think. What is the point of this area back here? I don't... I, I never needed to go back here, so I don't know why that's there, but anyway. We need to follow the ant that's popping out of the sand, which we also have to fight if we get too close to it, so... Uh, but we're gonna have to fight it once in each area, so it should be fairly simple. Especially if I can actually take them out. Uh, Thunderbolt. I thought that they didn't have as much health as they do, but apparently Mario's attack wasn't strong enough. Apparently Mallow's attack wasn't strong enough with everything else. It's fine, they can also power themselves up, so... Oh dear. Block- nope. Tiny kiss. Oh dear. They're doing some damage. Oh, okay, Peach, you might actually want to group hug. Okay, Mario, you hit something else, please. Because I think I can probably finish off the middle one with Thunderbolt. And the other one, apparently. Cool. I don't know how that works. Uh, but I'm gonna take it. Easy. Easy. Easy, question mark? I don't know. Anyway. Get some good XP and some coins. Not that we really need more coins at this point. No, we actually do need coins. I did spend a lot of coins, I guess. Uh, I should have paid attention to which thing it was I needed to go down. It's fine. There's also this cloud here, which is a random enemy that you can find here. It's pretty rare to find it, so... Uh, but we can't attack it with our physical attacks, so we actually need to use something special. So I'm going to use a fire rob to reveal it. Makuka. Duh. And it's this cloud enemy thing that we have to fight, so... Uh, let's attack you. It's got boss music for some reason, but I don't think it's that tough to beat, so... We should be alright. Electroshock. Um... Okay. I also think we don't want to use lightning. What? Like, we don't want to use actual. Like, we don't want to use our, uh, elemental moves, I don't think. Except for maybe Snowy, which we haven't used it yet, so it might be a good idea. Also, I just realized how low Mario's health is. It's fine, I'll heal him. Let's do that. Very nice. Molt. The zero. Good. I might also. Oh, I don't think we have any anymore, do we? Don't have any syrup of any kind, no honey. Ah, uh, we do have Kara Kara Cola, but I don't think I want to waste that. But I am out of FP right now, so I'm just ha going to have to use regular attacks. Ah, uh, but if we need to heal, for any reason, since Peach doesn't have any FP, we'd have to use an item, so Kara Kara Cola is probably good. Solidify! Looks like I might, maybe? Or maybe. Uh, I would just attack a little bit more. Oh, we won. Cool. And we got a roll of syrup, of course. So now... Also, I think we... No, we do need to use up something. 
Uh, let's use a flower tab because we have still have those. Two more left. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be good to have some extra roll of syrup. Now, also, I think froggy drink. Probably. Yes, that seemed like a good move. Except I don't have enough, like, don't have a worse enough mushroom to heal Mario to full. Ah, uh, but I think I'm fine with that for the moment. Ah, uh, but there's that ant again. We need to follow. Now. Ah, uh, I just hit something. I have FP, but I don't know how to use it properly, apparently. Well, I actually took it out. And Mario gets def defense up. Uh, but let's use Snowy. Rotate control pad. And we make a snowman. Very nice. That's a pretty good move for Mallow to have. Gotta pick me up. Very nice. Okay, let's get in the hole, please. Get in the hole. Yeah, get in the hole. Okay. I think we're not quite where we need to be yet. Also, we can also jump on top of the ant. If we bounce off a few times, we actually get frog coins, I believe. But I've never been able to do that because it's difficult to bounce off of something and keep landing on it. So, uh, but anyway, let's keep hitting these things. Guess I'll use Snowy. Just take out everything in one go. Just like that. Everything's gone. Bowser reaches level 14, which I can't remember what that is actually set as. It's fine. It's FP slash special. It's the special one. It's the special attack. Okay. <laughs> I don't think... I think it was this one, maybe? I think I'm correct with that guess. Also, this is annoying. This room particularly. We get regular coins from bouncing off at once. No, I went down the wrong one! It's fine. Oh, I got two coins. <laughs> I really want to get a f at least one frog coin from this. But anyway, since we fought that ant already in this area, we don't have to fight it again. In this area. It's just annoying when it swaps holes. Because then it's really difficult to just keep hitting it with your jump. Uh, but anyway. That's one taken out. Defense up. Uh, but of course I'm just going to use Snowy to take care of this. I probably shouldn't be wasting this much FP, but I... I kind of need to. Still. Okay. Gino reaches level 14, so let's upgrade his special attack. He also learns Gino Blast, which is a strong special attack that uses a good amount of FP. And so, so a fair bit. Uh, but it hits all enemies with a strong attack, so that's pretty good. That's actually really good to unlock at this point. I'll come back, please. Okay, we've made it to the end. We can also fight the ant again to go back. Or just go down the wrong hole to go back. But over here, we have this mountain cliff cliff face here that we can't do anything with. We're expected to climb this. Oh, hello again. Isn't this incredible? It really does look like the edge of the world, doesn't it? It's too spooky for me. I'm heading back to Monstro Town. See ya. So Monstro Town is not this way. So let's head back this way and follow this ant again if we can. Ah, come back. Also, if the ant gets cornered, it will teleport to the other hole. Which really annoys me, but it's fine. Just gonna hit you. That wasn't enough to take you out, but this definitely will be. Do you want to build a snowman on your face? Just like that. There we go. Okay. Get another pick-me-up. And let's, uh, go down this hole. Which takes us even deeper. So let's go ahead and save. Definitely worth saving here. Especially because this is the best place in the game... 
to grind levels and XP, so... Because, if I can actually hit this question mark block, it's a star power. And if you kill yourself to one of the enemies in a little bit later here, we can just keep getting that star power and keep getting a ton of levels. So, this is the best place in the game to grind, in my opinion. Mario reaches level 15, which I believe is power. Peach levels up to level 14, just a little bit behind everyone else, so let's do a special. Mallow reaches level 15, so let's give him power. But yes, if we now go down here... Oh, but also, if we have enough coins, we can talk to this guy back here. You're looking for a star, I'll sell you one for 400 coins, are you interested? If I have enough coins, I don't think I do, but it gives us a star block. And we can do this some more. So if we have enough coins, we could definitely also just get tons of levels up, but it's probably just easier to take ourselves out on the last enemy remaining. Just to go back to the save and level up some more. Bowser reaches level 15 and learns Crusher. I don't know what that does. Let's give him power. Gina reaches level 15. Let's give him power. But as long as you leave one and then lose to it, which might take a little bit because they're not that strong, you can go back to the save, get the star again, wipe everything out, basically. So, this is this is the best place to grind, if you need it, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna try and do this the normal way. Uh, anyway. Uh, also, how many coins do I have? 404. I have- I had a lot more coins than I thought I did. Anyway. Uh, to go back to the surface though, we have to pay this guy. 100 coins. This shortcut will get you back to the surface. Okay, well, let's buy that. I think he just leaves permanently after that, so... We don't have to pay, any, pay him anymore, so... Uh, but for now, let's go deeper into this cave. Because we need to go... We can't do anything up on the surface. Uh, let's grab this coin block. Uh, and now... For the interesting part, this place is a very interesting place in general, because this is Balome's temple. Do you want your fortune told? I'll, it'll cost 50 coins. Sure. See the three faces on the wall. Hit them in any order. And you'll receive your fortune. So depending on the order that we hit these blocks, we'll get different things. Which I believe... I'm just going to do... One, two, three for now. I think there's only three co possible combinations, like three rewards. So, there are six combinations, I think. Not some crazy. Uh, and then e every two of them are the same. When you uh, go through the next door, it looks like you have a great meal sometime in your future. Okay, so let's go this way then. Also, I want to hit all the secrets in this room if I can. Uh, actually, no, they might. No, that's not this room. Next room, maybe. Okay, so we get from getting the food in the future, we get a Yoshi cookie. We could also go back now and get another fortune. Uh, but for now, I think I'm gonna keep moving this way since my notes say to keep going this way. Let's get this coin block. Very nice. Lots of coins. Lots of coins. So many coins. It's fine. Uh, and let's hit this block, which I believe is a frog coin. Uh, but we also need to get this frog coin hidden block there. And if I can find the next block, I'm pretty sure there's another one. Hang on. Uh, yes, okay, so we need to jump on top of this block to get another frog coin. So, I probably didn't need to do the grinding that I did last time, since I got an extra three coins here. But, you know, it's still good to get all the hidden blocks, so... Now, I think that's everything in here, so let's keep moving. And now... The yellow tile will get you to the next room. Your fortune determines which room you arrive at. If you're lucky, you'll run into Belome, and Monstro Town will be just beyond him. Let's check our fortune. Mm, I'm so hungry, I wish I had something to eat. Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna just hold off on that for a second, because I want to show something. Because if we reload the room, I think... I might be wrong about this. Maybe I'm just 
forced to go this way, possibly. Anyway, let's go down this elevator. Because th that fortune is supposed to have two different fortunes that can be. The one that says, oh, I'm so hungry, I wish I had something to eat, will lead you to Bellorum. But the other one leads you to a treasure room, but we can't actually get anything there at the moment. For reasons, but apparently it's not getting, letting me check that. Uh, we're about to fight Bellorum. I think. <laughs> actually, no, the, the Bellorum is actually after everything else, my notes. So I'm going to go back up now. Goodbye. We've already seen him once. It's fine. We know who he does. Ah, uh, but let me head back up here now. Because I think I should be able to get the separate fortune. So, hungry, wish I had something to eat. Maybe I have to get a different fortune at the start. Although, I don't think I had to do that before, so I don't know why I would want me to do that now. Ah, uh, but let's try something different. The, uh... Ah... Uh, What's it called? The formless can also sh show up in this area as well, the thing that we fought on the surface. Uh, but anyway, let's, uh... Let's get another fortune. So... Pay you 50 coins. So, as well as 123... 132 also gives the Yoshi cookie. Uh, but now, if we do... Two, three, one, or two, one, three. If you proceed through the pipe next door, you'll have plenty of good things to look forward to. I hope I'm not wrong about these, th do these rewards, but it's, and this seems like something else. So I, I'm not sure. But anyway, we have an enemy here that we have to fight. So let's try to do that. Also, this enemy. Crifford, I don't know. They have to take out. That seems strong. Another wisp. These enemies in general just seem strong. Somewhat. We can probably still take them out though. Especially if we can get to Mallow's turn. Because we're gonna oh I don't have enough. It's fine, it's fine, I'm just gonna do Thunderbolt. Thank you. Oh, that's weird. It's fine. Uh, let me. No, I shouldn't have used Peach on you, but that's fine. I should have used Peach on one of the other things. Elegy. Didn't do anything, apparently. Uh, Mario, please take this out. I beg you. Not quite. Thunderbolt again. Still not enough. Gunk Ball. Oh, Mallow's muted. That's not good. Um, Peach hit one of the sh Shyways. Ow. It's fine. Um, uh, Mario hit the thing in the middle again. Okay, there we go. Now we just need to take out everything else. Defense up. Can't use Thunderbolt because I have been muted. Lucky. Okay, I think this is about done. Also, well, we've been getting a lot of coins recently. A lot of coins, apparently. Uh, do I want to double my coins? No, I'm good. I'm gonna get 66 coins, so I, I think I'm good. Uh, but anyway, that's for the... No, I was right about my in my notes. That was regular enemies. Okay. Uh, anyway, is this different now? Sorry, but I'm not accepting accept. Ah, sorry, but I'm I'm not accepting visitors past my bedtime. This gives us a different exit. If we go down the elevator now, showing us the treasure room. Give me the key, and I'll let you pass through. But look in here. There's flowers. There's frog coins. There's items. I don't know what items they are, but probably good to get them eventually. Ah, but there's another fortune that I need to check. Oh, there's actually two more fortunes to check, actually. 
So, let me go back up again. We need to do... If I can get there. We can move faster by holding down Y, but also we're still very slow. Uh, so if we do 3, 1, 2... Wait for the thing to reset. 3, 1, 2... This is actually a good one to do. If you proceed through the pipe next door, you'll find some rare items. Interesting way of putting it. Also, there's the formless, if I wanted to fight that, but we don't need to. We get a frog coin. So that's well worth doing. That's, that's all it gives us, though. It says rare items, but it means rare item. Ah, uh, let's see. The last one that we haven't done yet is 3, 2, 1. I think. I think. I might be wrong about that, actually. I think I didn't understand my notes. Because I don't think I understood the other fortune. You get great items. Yeah, that's just frog coin again, I'm pretty sure. So don't- no, it does give me something different. It gives me coin block. Also, please give me the rest of the coin block. Cutscene. Okay, so I think that's everything we need to look at. So now... Ah, uh, let's see, what's this? Please be that one, thank you. Let's go fight below him. Now, I don't know who I should take, but I think I'm going to stick with the party that I cur currently have. Uh, it might be good to have Peach for healing, mainly. Also, I should do something about my FP. Flower tab. Thank you. We also have a Yoshi cookie, which summons Yoshi during battle. So you might also want to do that, possibly. Mmm, you look so tasty. I think I'll have a snack. So, similar to the last time, but with a few differences. And we're gonna find that out as we get further into this fight. I probably should have healed, but it's fine. Let's just do some damage. I never forget a taste. In fact, I can clone someone after just one slurp. Watch. You look... Oh, look delicious. But how do you taste? So he tastes peach. Hmm, tastes peachy. There we are. And he creates a clone. Make sure to take out the clones because he can... He can create a lot. He can make several of them and if they keep... Oh my, Mega Recover. That's just rude. That, that's not... He, ah, yeah, the clones can heal him, attack for him. We need to take them out quickly, so... Ah, uh, but anyway, let's keep going. Gonna make a clone of Mario. Ack! Sour! There we are. Okay, let me group hug. Oh no. Mario, quick, please take out the Mario clone. He can create multiple clones. If we don't take out the clones that he does create quickly enough, we'll be in trouble. Also, what is this move? Oh. Uh, Mellow's drowsy. That's not good. Uh, I could heal him, but I don't think there's any point to that. So I'm just going to keep attacking for the moment. You all look delicious, but how, how do you taste? Well, you already know. Mario's sour. For some reason. I don't know what the other characters have as their text, but... I assume they all have their own flavor. Which is interesting. Ah! It's fine. Mario, take out the clone. Uh, sure, Mallow, take out the clone. Since Mario's not strong enough to take himself out. Light beam again. Um, please be enough. Maybe. Also, Mario got Ultra Jump, which is similar to Super Jump, but also if there are multiple enemies, he'll actually switch between targets. So he can only jump so many times, but he can also hit a lot of the enemies with his ultra jump. So, but for the moment, we're not going to use that since there's only one enemy. Also, I imagine it's stronger. 
Oh, how does Mallow taste? Mallow tastes... Yes, this is yummy! There we are. Well, okay. Let's take out the Mallow clone as quickly as possible. Also, since there's two targets, we can also use the Ultra Jump and show what this looks like since it just picks a random target, basically. This is quite useful for bosses as well. You look delicious, but how do you taste? Mmm, taste peachy. There we are. Um, I, I feel like it, this is gonna get into trouble eventually. But I think if I use Ultra Jump again, we should be able to keep doing some good damage to Balome. There's really nothing else to this fight other than him creating more clones. As long as we keep on top of the clones, we should be fine. Gonna create a clone of Mallow. It's probably not worth letting the clones live long enough to see what their attacks are. Just because... Yeah. It's too dangerous, basically. Okay. Also, this Ultra Jump takes 11 FP, so I'm burning through FP very quickly right now. Oh no, Static E. Um, maybe I'll use Snowy to see if that does anything good. Okay, that doesn't affect the other Mallow. This is fine. But now there's two clones. This is not good. This is not good at all. This is bad. Two clones is not good at all. Peach, take out this clone, please. Thank you. Ow. Well, if you like being jumped on, how, how, how about this? Get an ultra jump. Okay. Very nice. That only does five. That only does five damage to Mari because Mari is probably like he has. He's resistant to his own moves, obviously, and it, that's the same with that every er, all the characters. So there we are. Okay, please take out the clone. Nope. We're in trouble. Uh, duh, duh, I don't have the F FP. Uh, hit the peach, I think. I don't know if Mario's attack is going to be effective against himself. Okay, take out this clone. We should be good. Good, 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 good. Light beam. This fight is taking a while. Okay, peach, please finish it. Not quite. Maybe. Maybe. Oh no, not again. I'm starving! Time to go home for dinner. Goodbye, boys and girls. And there we go. Peach le re reaches level 15 and learns Mute, which means she can mute enemies so that they can't use special moves. Ah, uh, but I think we're gonna give her power. I'm pretty sure that's what she's up to. And let's also hit the switch here, to open up the exit. Hello. Oh, hello! <laughs> That's what- we, 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 We're in sync. That pipe is a shortcut to my home, Monstro Town. I'll see you there. I will see you there. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.